I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm so disappointed, bro. I'm literally just now hearing about this. Okay, first things first, before I do anything, I have to react to the footage. I, I have to see exactly what was said. So J. Cole apologized to Kendrick. I seen clips and I looked through comments and it's actually disturbing to me how many like D Rider fans are like defending the apology and not realizing, not even realizing what's going on. I ain't gonna lie, like they got gaslit by J. Cole. I like J. Cole as much as the next person, bro. I love my delete later, bro. I can't even listen to the the, the songs the same anymore. Bro. There was like jabs throughout each song or throughout the whole album. And I for sure can't listen to seven minute drill at all. I thought it was so hard he was popping his shit off. He said what he had to say. It was this records like what? what? Why, bro? Why? Let me see, bro. Let's be honest, bro. If Drake did this, they'd be on his ass right now. There would be no, there would be none of this bullshit I'm seeing in the comments. I'm gonna show some comments, bro, if I could find some. So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. I'm assuming he's talking about my delete. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah, I don't do that, but I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, so he's saying, oh shit, sorry. Boy, I must oh. have had a thousand missed calls. He's basically saying he felt peer pressure into making the diss track. It's like, dog, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If this is how you was feeling all along, like you, you should have just never done anything. You should have just done the Drake method and just po post little captions, man. Post pictures with some little captions, but you're not even on social media. Uh, I don't know, man. Just Twitter fingers at this point. It's better than dropping a whole project with with shots throughout the whole thing and then just to apologize right after, bro. Like, yo, as a like a as a rap fan, a hip hop fan. I feel like any hip hop fan lives for moments like this where the artists, like the artists that are up there, that was like the big three, that was the conversation. Artists that are up there, bar spar, spar bars, fight with lyrics, bro. I feel like that's what a lot of us love. When I seen this happen, when Kendrick dropped that shit, I was like, oh yes. I think we all were like, yes, they got, they got to respond. They got to respond. We were saying it was corny that Drake was just posting pictures in the captions. It's like, bro, he, he's not going to say nothing, da da da. But J. Cole drops, bro and it, it it's fire but then he apologizes i feel like that's worse i feel like that's the worst thing to do that's worse than what drake drake did oh my god bro it's just hard bro this shit just sucks because i really like j cole and i really like the project but i can't listen to it the same anymore bro god. text flooded i couldn't even answer my shit nigga it's war time boom, 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 right <laughs> niggas want to see blood and and i was conflicted because one i know my heart you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. Bro, it's not even like, it's not even like blood or like we just want to see bars like who got the hardest bars. The biggest debate is who is like, what's the order of the top three, bro? But it's like with this Kendrick's like in first now. It's just Kendrick. And then, you know, I seen I seen memes of people saying that it's Kendrick, Drake and young boy now. Was he scared? I, I don't know, bro. I love J. Cole, bro. I love this project. It was so hard. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight That's what is in the midst of me doing that and, and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Oh my gosh, man. He's Drake, glazing. Y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? 
Bro, we love we we love both of y'all. That's why we wanted to see this shit but go back and forth, bro. This <laughs> I'm just hurt, man. I'm just hurt, bro. As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like... All good, like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga. So it's a win-win, it's a win-win either way. Cause he said, if even if Kendrick does respond and still says like the shit that he wanna say, he's not gonna, he's not gonna reply back. It's like, he's basically, he get, you got it. That's what he's saying. For like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Cause I Wait, what is that? Hold on. Forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. like. It let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. Like, first and foremost, I get it. I completely get it. I completely understand what he's talking about, all right? For those of y'all who don't know, or for those of y'all who knew, like, I actually rap, okay? I actually do rap, and I've been in my fair shares of, of bar sparring situations back and forth. And it's like, it's not a good feeling when you're just chilling, you know, one moment, you just living your life, da-da-da. And then you end up having to battle somebody and it's song after song. The song comes out and, and like everybody's messaging you and saying, yo, what you gonna say? It's nerve wracking, bro. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to like, you know, nobody wants that type of feeling, bro. It's just, it's just nerve wracking. Cause then you got to come with your best shit. And then you wondering if it's good or if, if you going too far, because like the niggas I was battling, like they were, I was cool with, like, I didn't, I didn't really have problems with uh, a lot of them. I know how it is with the back and forth and how it's like, damn, bro, you can't really get good sleep. Cause niggas just want up your shit and so like now you got to respond back but at the same time if you like are a rapper I, in my, in, this is my opinion if you are actual like rapper bro people are gonna come for your crown people are gonna come for your your spot and they're gonna try they're gonna try you any rapper that goes around saying that they the best like he was saying all over uh uh might delete later a nigga's gonna check you and see if you really are but you apologize after like puffing your chest out like that and it's just chat i'm really conflicted because it's like i don't i'm not trying to disrespect j cole it's j cole I, I would never disrespect him but at the same time this is just hard to this is just hard to digest as a fan of music a fan of hip-hop i was ready for the songs to drop i was ready for for the reactions and just bars bro like oh my gosh like it was so refreshing to hear uh might delete later after like the other albums i've been listening to and no sh no shade to them but it's different when it's a nigga just rapping in every line you have to listen to i loved it so much and i, I just can't get over he apologized bro it's like imagine all this time scarface is doing all this shit sending out these shots and then sosa walks up to him and he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry it's like yo what he's not he's not even really like he's not really even about it bro that nigga folded you fuck with me you fuck with the back cold world stop the negativity i'm trying to get right with god positivity only it is what it is it's like okay we know who won kendrick won bro basically kendrick won it's kendrick number one kendrick's number one nobody nobody's trying to come at him drake sh surely isn't he's he's talking through captions and j cole literally redacted the whole might delete later which is probably why it was might delete later like what's really frustrating to me and it's like makes me go like ill is the fans like really justifying it knowing that if it was any other artist they'd be on his ass bro but because it's j cole everybody else needs to now grow up i'm sorry but i'm gonna call absolute bullshit on that you're just afraid to say that j cole literally admitted he he couldn't sleep at night he was tossing and turning worried about what what would happen if this continued bro like he apologized before kendrick could even could drop anything this was from a meme page bro this was from a meme page he posted a meme saying just j cole apologized to kendrick already obviously there's like more slides saying shit and then just just take a second to look at the comments y'all don't know cole if you don't understand this he's been about spreading love and faith not beefing with niggas if that was the truth all right if that was the absolute truth he would have never dropped this project and that diss track like it would be different if kendrick said what he said and cole just apologized and was like i'm like i apologize for whatever you you feel like i did to you but i'm not gonna do the back and forth i'm just not gonna do that i i don't wanna i don't wanna you know lose sleep over this or have to go back and forth or anything like that that would be more understandable like oh okay i mean i guess it, it still is it's still kendrick one you know 
it still comes off as j cole scared to you know go go back and forth toe to toe bro he literally said like battling me is like box boxing with god your hands too sh like short to even land a it's like bro he said so much like he said so much fire shit and it don't even matter anymore it's invalid but if that was the case he would have never dropped this project but he dropped the project he let his nuts hang bro he said so many so many shots and apologized and then this is one y'all want to like He's been about spreading love and faith and not beefing with niggas. I, I'm sorry, but this is cringe to me. This is like copium to me, bro. Definitely copium. Cole is a real one. That man stand for unity, not division. Still drop the diss track. It's like, also while I'm editing this, I'm wondering if they had that same energy when Cole initially dropped the diss track. I guarantee they was reacting to it and loving every moment of it and said, yeah, that's the, that's the Cole we know with them bars and da 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 And now they're switching up. I get it, bro. Come on now. Like, these niggas, I'm gonna get back to editing, bro. If anybody else would have done this, bro, they'd be on their head. But I feel like because it's J. Cole, and don't get me wrong, I fuck with J. Cole, but I feel like people are just biased. They're so biased right now, bro. If anybody else would have apologized in rap beef, in the history of any rap beef, we would have been said those niggas lost and they're scared, bro. You niggas are bots. It was low key mature of him to come out and say that most niggas would keep the beef going because they not trying to get clowned i'm not gonna lie i don't know if it's just me maybe it's just me maybe i'm you know maybe i don't get it maybe rap has just completely changed in, in like the span of a week or something man maybe this tracks and all this shit has completely changed maybe the internet is now like holier than thou and they don't want beef they don't want none of this at all interesting i don't know chat i feel like um i feel like people are being completely biased right now and don't want to admit what's actually happening in front of our faces it's kind of it's it's literally cringe reading this <laughs> it's literally cringe reading all this bro l post cole is just being humble it's the fans hyping up the beef because they're bored nigga he dropped a whole project what do you mean y'all are so weak-minded for real you think it's a joke but deep down you know what's going on this doesn't just go for j cole and kendrick but we but why have beef with anyone? J. Cole fell into the earthly desires, what you all wanted, negativity instead of positivity. Oh my gosh, bro. I can't with it. It's, it's crazy how just the internet, the internet want to hate on shit. That's crazy, like crazy to hate on. But when it's J. Cole, suddenly all of the internet is, is like, yo, man. No, we need to be together. We need to be positive. Yo, quick, inter quick, quick interjection. Another question I have is like, where's this energy for like, the rap beef that's like actual like street rap beef like we acting like what is this on my hand we acting like this is like like who i smoke level type diss tracks this is just bars this is like literally straight bars bro like yo, i'm gonna get back there where's all the memes at if it was drake niggas clown on drake he's not a human too and like i said i like j cole but i'm also like i don't know maybe they're not even a fan of music they're just a fan of j cole so they just don't get it at all y'all gotta let me know down in the comments am i tripping it don't even gotta be hate it's just it's the back and forth between who's got the better bars a lot of times when i'm when i was dissing niggas going back and forth and bar sparring bro we we actually fuck with each other more because the respect of the whole battle afterwards and i think that goes with a lot of things boxing matches uh mma fights any type of battle any type of show of strength or power there's always respect in the end because them niggas stood toe to toe and did what they had to do so for him to take the knee before after throwing the like the warning to him to immediately take a knee is kind of it's kind of corny bro it's kind of corny man y'all gotta let me know man am i tripping niggas act like i'm advocating or people are advocating for actual like drive-by shootings or jumping niggas it's bars bro we want good bars we want music it's hip-hop beef if you listen to if you actually a fan of hip-hop like you'd be excited for this not because niggas is down in each other or dissing each other but because that's when niggas best bars come out bro when you actually got to go against another person that's when you actually see who got the best penmanship in this shit bro and i hate niggas acting like they don't even want to see that shit either acting like they don't even want to see the back and forth just because j cole did this apology and now they got to save face for the sake of being a j cole fan i'm a j cole fan but i'm never gonna be a dick riding glazer i'm sorry bro i'm sorry i'm gonna always have to tell it like it is and if y'all don't agree with me y'all don't agree with me but i gotta speak my mind you can't this is my channel you came to the channel bro i forgot i even had this bitch bro <laughs> i forgot i even had this bitch i was gonna talk about this on stream and then people were like main channel video i was like oh shit i do have that let me talk about this bro this is like i like i'm actually like i'm just disappointed bro i'm just disappointed i feel like j cole's like the only person who could do something like this and his fan base will literally 
like defend him for it like i said i get it i understand uh why he's apologizing he's not trying to do the back and forth he he, he wants you know to just kind of do his own thing but you when you already release a whole project it's like you already put it out there you you should have never let these niggas get to you bro you should never let these niggas get to you and tell you like, yo, you got to make something. You got to make a diss track. I'm actually like floored, bro. I'm actually, it's like, damn. Cause it's like, as much as we clown the people Eminem like bodied, at least they responded, bro. I'm not against J. Cole, bro. I don't think he's ass or anything like that. I really fuck with him. I think he can actually rap, but like even when this whole thing was going, people were asking me, whose side are you on? You got to pick a side, da da da. Bro, I, I fuck with J. Cole. I guess Kendrick, I don't know. I, I, I guess that nigga Kendrick different, bro. I guess that nigga Kendrick different and you know congratulations to him I feel like there's, there's no debate anymore bro there's no debate niggas had a chance to go bar for bar back to back and nobody wanted to nobody wanted to face him anything I said makes it seem like I'm a hater I think you're just too much of a dick rider to even see where I'm coming from bro see where I'm coming from we talking about music we talking about rap we talking about hip-hop we talking about sparring sparring y'all gotta let me know what y'all think down in the comments below like be honest bro be, be completely honest, man. Should I not be looking for rap beef? Should I not be like wanting rappers to actually rap against each other to see who actually would win in a rapping competition in, in, in a realm where rappers, these rappers claim that they are the best in? Am I crazy for thinking that? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. I really want to see what y'all got to say, man, because I, I just got to see. Until, until next time, bro. I can't believe this, bro.